Hi again. Today, I want to share with you a few options for how you might set up your exemplars lessons in Google Classroom. You could also set up your lessons and materials similarly in other LMS systems, such as Schoology or Canvas. Be sure to access the folder of resources shown here via the exemplars blog or the exemplars library in the Tools for Success section. Opening each of the subfolders will allow you to view lesson plans, copy slide decks to use in your own class, and see examples of student work. One option for structuring your exemplars lessons is to use the five E's or the inquiry method. If students are familiar with this method from science class, it may help to create some consistency. If not, this is still a powerful way to work through a problem-solving performance task. The full lesson plan is printed here in the inquiry-based lesson structure PDF. In Google Classroom or another LMS, you'll structure the steps of the lesson using the five E's, engage, explore, explain, elaborate, and evaluate. I numbered my steps in Google Classroom, but you might use days of the week if you prefer. The engagement images in the planning section of each exemplar's task are perfect for the engage portion of the lesson. You might paste one into the engage slide deck and send it to students to record their thinking. In the explore portion of the task, students will spend time to solve the task. Depending on your comfort and preferences, students might use pencil and paper, a virtual manipulative tool like Brain and Camp, Google Drawings or Jamboard, or any other tool you found helpful for showing student thinking. You can see some examples in the Explore and Elaborate Student Work slide deck. The Explain step is a great chance to meet as a full class or in small groups to discuss different strategies before students move on to the Elaborate step and explain their thinking using a tool of their choice, written text, a video or audio recording, or a combination. This is also a great time to provide students with a link to the digital interactive problem solving procedure as a way to guide them in crafting a complete solution. Finally, the evaluate step is a chance for students to self-assess their work. You should provide students a copy of the digital interactive jigsaw rubric at this point. Links to create copies of both of these interactive forms are available here in the rubrics folder. Look for the links to interactive rubric slash procedure document. We hope you find these resources helpful. Have a question or idea? Feel free to contact us.